Laker Nation. We are, ah, this is a Lakeview brain break, and it also could be an Art 270 for SMSU. We are going to do an imagination workout, as it is a part of the Lakeview brain break. Woo! Well, what we're going to do is you're going to need to make a photocopy or you're going to want to make a cam, take your camera on your phone and take a picture of this. This is what we're going to do. So we're going to work from this and create different types of artwork. So I'm going to adjust my camera and we're going to get it into position. And here we are. So one of the things you could do is in one of the previous art assignments, I used dice. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we would just we could just re-roll the twelves. So I could go, whoop, oh, I picked number six. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, three, four, five, and then I would go here, six. So what I'm gonna do on my piece of paper is I'm gonna take a sharpie and I'm gonna draw a dashed line, a dashed line, and a dashed line. And now I have to come up with some sort of art image from that original picture. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to imagine this as a sail. And then I'm going to come down. Um, I'm going to draw my uh, mast. And then I'm going to draw the number eight. But I'm not going to continue it over here. I'm going to draw a line down. I'm going to go here and I'm going to make some water. I'm going to draw here and then add some waves. Some waves in the background. And I am making, and I'm going to, since this is blowing the wind, I'm going to give it a string that goes back here. I'm going to put a, a steering device, a rudder into the water. I'm going to put a dude sitting in here, and I'm going to shade him in black so he stands out. And there he is. He's enjoying one of those. There's his hair. Woo! He's steering the boat. And he's holding the sail. Yeah, and he's waving to us. How about that? And it's a nice day out on Lake Cottonwood, so there's a sun is shining. And maybe there's a cloud. Though sometimes there are clouds around us, and I just make simple little clouds. Woo! I'm going to draw a line around this so that I format it a little more. Um, and there we have... My Lakeview Bain Break. I rolled a six, which meant it was that one. So if I number these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And all I have to do is re-roll. So for example, I could take another sheet of paper. I've got my Lakeview Brain Break right here. I'm gonna roll my dice. I get a six again, so I'm going to re-roll that because I did a six. Oh, I got a six again. Oh, wow. Talk about average. Oh, I got a seven, so I start with a circle. So here we go. Here's the circle. What do I want it to be? I could draw a line like this. I could draw another line like this, another line like this. I could draw a line like this. I could add little... As basketballs have. And then I could draw a foreshortened circle. I could draw two dots, put my finger in the middle. Um, nope, I don't have to do that. I'm going to draw a smiley face, and I'm going to draw a frown face, and I'm going to draw a line around that. Another one here. I'm going to draw myself a net. This would make Mr. Caveney pretty darn happy. People drawing basketball hoops. Woo! There we go. And I've just made, and I could put a net back there. I'm going to draw a line here and a line here. And then I'm going to put the old. That's how you shoot those bucket shots. Now I'm going to draw some action lines. Woo! And there's my basketball. It's coming in. And I'm going to draw me a frame around the outside of that. And then the last thing I'm going to do with both of these is I'm going to sign it. 
JKS. And I'm going to put a JKS over here. Now, depending on what, how many of these you want to make, each time you could make a different one. Even if I rolled that again, I could have done that shape again. I can take markers or crayons and I can color this bad boy in. So I could color this all orange and I'm just doing this quickly right now for you so that you can see that you could go about making this more than just what it is. So um, I'm adding color. Uh, usually those are red, I believe. So I'm gonna put some red there. Da, da, da. I'm not gonna go through my lines that I drew for action because I want them to be white uh, because they are, I'm gonna put a little bit of light red right here and then I'm gonna go over it with orange to make a red orange. Now I could add a little shadow in on my basketball and I can make that curved. I'm gonna take my white. I'm gonna add some white right here. And I'm gonna add some more orange. And I'm coloring that guy up. Now, I'm gonna take some blue, light blue, and I'm just gonna go through my background. So that makes this stand out a little more. And I'm going to just go really light right on the inside of that. And if I had some gray, which I don't, I'm going to use a little light brown. And I'm going to go over my strings just to make them stand out from the background. I might put a little shadow in here. And there you go. I have myself a Lakeview basketball. Yeah. And again, I've got somebody sailing, setting sail, just like Mr. Hansen talked about. Remember, you're going to want to take a photo of the imagination workout. And again, with this, it's your choice. You could even flip it so you looked at it this way or this way. It's totally dependent upon you. And this was a Lakeview Brain Break. Welcome to the Imagination Workout.